forgot to tell you. What up, Kiki Boo? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you? I hope y'all dance with me. Y'all better be dancing with me. Basically, I want to give a shout out to No Plan. No, for real. Thank you to Londi Row. This is the top that I'm wearing from Londi Row. This is not like sponsored or anything. I just want to give a shout out because they're dope. Follow them on Instagram. They do evening formal wear. I'm drinking some red juice. Mm -hmm. Non-alcoholic red juice. Okay, anyway. So, Kiki Boos, did you notice? That's you. <laughs> That's you. That's you. That's you. Okay, okay. What up? So, by the title, I'm sure you already kind of know. Today, what I want to share with y'all you know what I'm saying? Is when you doing something and you feel like boom, 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 boom. Like you feel like, Jesus, did I enter a fight or did I enter a purpose? You know, you be like, Jesus, Jesus, Lord. You know, like, Lord. You know, sometimes I, it's be, it be rough. Oh, that's good. I haven't had a soda in like, a year that's so no i'm lying no like a month okay focus i was talk to the what i want what i want to talk about that eh, eh, eh. somebody tell me to focus they focus okay what i want to talk about today is when we start living for christ and girl that thing be blowing up you be like Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. I want you. You know, it's like, Lord. But I want to encourage you today because I feel like when you we are walking through something and it's difficult. I mean, you got all this. First of all, you got temptation from the world. Then you got like, that don't make sense, Lord, but you're telling me to do it. So you got this over there and you got this over there. And then you got, you know, people that are like, girl are you sure girl are you you know it's like you you feel like you may not be supported or you feel like you may be in this thing on your own but be assured number one as i make these points up as i go amen be assured number one through the holy spirit of course praise god be assured number one that you are following god's plan for your life and that that may not always be easy it may not always be simple but God knows where you're going. And so the most important thing about that is that you don't know, <laughs> but God does. Right. And so a lot of times in our society, we are like, I want to know. Like, I need to know. I started at this company so I can get to this company or I'm going to this university so I can get into this job or I'm in this relationship because he can give me or, you know, she or he can give me this. So you kind of are left out there sometimes and you feeling like dang like this is hard like it's hard being obedient it's hard following God like it's hard doing this stuff like God you know like I thought this was supposed to be easier but I want to encourage you today mm, is that it doesn't just mean that you are not am I sweating oh my god it doesn't just mean that you are not on God's right path for you if you are receiving opposition matter of fact one of the tactics of the enemy and i know you already know this already but this is what god wants to help us to under, under, understand in this moment one of the tactics of the enemy are to thwart you out of god's will for your life especially in moments of sensitivity what are moments of sensitivity when you have recently given your life to christ that's a moment of sensitivity because the you know you're, you're open you're like yeah and you may not be you may you may not first of all the enemy is like oh she about to pop off she about to do something she about to save some people she about to stop drinking she about to stop smoking so that's a moment of sensitivity another moment of sensitivity is like 
Maybe you were being disobedient and now you're coming back into obedience because the Lord revealed to you, hey, that stuff was going on. Hey, come over here. This is what I got for you. That's the moment of sensitivity because the enemy doesn't want you to be obedient. Duh, like he's a fool. Kick him to hell right there. You know what I'm saying? And so, or with this thing, kick him. The enemy does not want you to, to persevere. The enemy does not want you to get to these things. And I feel like we don't understand the gravity of what it means to have an enemy. Because when the spirit of God comes inside of us and it lives inside of us, that makes the enemy of the Lord our enemy too. And we are God's representation on this earth because God is inside of us, because the Holy Spirit is inside of us. That means that we have not only that enemy, but we have the ability and the anointing to conquer that enemy. But first we must recognize that we have an enemy that is like, whoa, like, this doing some spiritual stuff and some heavy you know deep dark things and then we have to realize but wait I got something in me when I've given my life to Christ that is bigger that is bolder that is better and that can allow me to overcome you know you can conquer like it's 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 not an even battle. And I think that's that a part of the times is what we get caught up in thinking like it's an even battle and it's not an even battle. Like open your eyes and let God use what he's placed in front of you, this life, this destination, this journey, um, this this book, whatever it is, to help you to conquer the vials, the schemes, the deception of the enemy, um, because it wants to destroy you. It wants to get you off track. It wants to put you back in a place where you have no power, where you, where you are defeated, where you are in the dark, where you're confused. It wants everything opposite of what God wants for your life. And the Lord is saying right now, to open up your eyes and to see that there's not just things happening. It's not just things that, oh yeah, I'm getting distracted over here or this is happening or, or yeah, this is delayed. No, it's the enemy trying to keep you off track of what God wants to do in your life and don't allow it for a second. Don't allow it for a second to do that. Don't allow that little idiot to do that in Jesus name because you are a conqueror and because you have the God uh, that created you inside of you, boo boo, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and that that is the power that we come from. That is our strength. That is our strength. We ain't powerful by ourselves. We have to unwash our brains from what the world taught us. Even from maybe what our mother and father taught us, or our sister and brothers, our auntie and grandmama and them. Like, we got to unwash our minds and be like, hold on, hold on. I can't do nothing without Jesus Christ. Even on this, this thing that seems so easy, but it's not. Because when it, you give your life to Christ, you got to be like, God, not my will, but yours. God, not my strength, but yours. God, I could I could have done this in the world, but God, God, when I'm submitted to you, I'm submitted to your power. And I also got to understand that there's an enemy that's bigger than me, but that's not bigger than you. So I got to give my strength and give it into you so you can overtake me. And that's how we got to approach this thing. That's what God wants us to see. That it's something so major keeping you back. It's not just, you know, all oh, this. It's not just that. Like you, it's time to come alive. It's time to be who God is calling you to be today. Like today today like you ready because we about to call we about to crank this thing we about to, we about to call this thing forth inside of you so that you can be this person so that you can be this man and this woman so that you can be all that god has created you to be in jesus name so just stretch out your hands kiki boo all right, I decree right now in Jesus name that you are a child of God, that there is no weapon formed against you that can prosper. I decree right now that you will no longer be deceived and distracted by the enemy's distractions in your life, by the enemy trying to get you off course. I just speak right now victory into you in Jesus name. I speak the power of the living God inside of you and um, that you would just receive this power and that it would overtake you like a mighty flood and you would not be the same. And I speak right now every single thing blocked Locking your eyes must go right now in Jesus' name. Every single blinder, every single blockage must go right now under the authority of Jesus Christ. You must be removed and they will begin to see the things that you're calling them into God. They will begin to discover the things that they have been hindered by, Father. And they will begin to walk purposefully and mightily in the calling that you have for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we glorify you, God. You are almighty. You are so good. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise, God. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you, God. We just worship you, God. Lord, we are just 
going forth, God, with just all that we got, all that we got. We just going forth, God. We just so excited, Jesus. Just have your way in us. Have your way in us, God. There is no one like you, Father, and you are our God. Amen.